Sub my credits today, I want to show you how you can do well on your task to It's from IELTS 7 test 1 task 2. It's generally believed that some people are born with certain talents, for instance for sports or music, and others are not. However, it's sometimes claimed that any child can be taught to become a good sports person or musician. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Well, here it says like uh, says that some people believe that some people born with talents, while others believe that they can acquire like a knowledge and perform better when they work harder. So we have a discussion essay here, as you can see, that it's not really tricky, that all we have to do is just to paraphrase this one, this one is given, we're gonna paraphrase this one, and we're gonna write this as for this part. Well, as I've showed before, that we are generally graded according to our grammar, vocabulary, task accuracy, and our coherence and cohesion. So we have to know some words and grammar real, really well to get a higher mark. So I'm going to start paraphrasing here without further ado. -do. So some people, some believe, some believe that the talent, talent is a natural gift, gift, uh, whilst, whilst others have a different opinion. Opinion, opinion, since they think that any person, any person can, can become, can become an excellent, excellent achiever, achiever by, by guidance, by guidance, dedication, dedication and hard work. Well, as you can see that we have here, this one is some believe that the talent is a natural gift, while others have a different opinion since they think that any person can become an excellent achiever by guidance, dedication and hard work. That's it, that we did what we were required to do, and we paraphrased this one in the way that it should have been, and we have a good vocabulary here, great grammar, and the easiest way possible, we just paraphrased this one. So we did what we were required to do, and uh, what I need to do is now to write uh, to this part where I'll have to uh, write what I'm going to do during this essay. So it won't be tricky uh, as long as I know the vocabularies and grammar, so I'm going to start with saying in this essay, in the easiest way possible, in this essay, both above mentioned mentioned views will be discussed. Well, see, it's not really tricky that we did it in the path in the passive as well. That we show that we have general idea how to use a passive. We have grammar, but we have we know how to use a grammar correctly. And in this essay, we start with saying that we could f write in the in multiple ways. So I want to show you in the multiple ways. That we start with a passive. I'll sorry about this. Here I'll fix it up. And, and that a talent is a natural gift. I should have said. In this essay, I can write in the three way. So I want to show this. Like we can say in this essay, I will discuss both. Above, above, mention it. Views, concluding, concluding with my personal opinion. Opinion. Well, here we can add this one as well. Says correct. Just instead of my opinion, I can say that. All right. Concluding with a person, personal opinion. Well, I can conclude like this, and I won't show you the third way as well. Like, sorry about this. Here we can fix it up. So I should have said an opinion. Just an opinion is enough. All right. And in the third way, I can say like. This essay will discuss discuss both 
above men should ideas I love the opinions concluding with a person view okay here I'll show you the three way that you can write this sentence that you can choose any of them like and uh, set them here because all of them are correct in the in the way that it should have been written I've here I used a passive and this ones I use an act, active form and that would be important that to show them that we can we can use grammar in a different ways but uh, among them we have to choose one in this case I want to choose this one in this essay the both above mentioned ideas will be discussed concluding with a personal opinion or it's more uh, I, I would say that it's it fits better and uh, in, in the more areas, I, it has a different grammar as well and concluding with the opinion that I highly suggest you to learn this grammar like uh, with, we have a comma here and the verb is ing and that's all about it that I all I wanted to show it was this one and I think it was helpful because as you can see that it's not really tricky you I would say like you don't you must not spend more than five minutes to write any introduction it's even more five minutes is really long however if you have a good grammar and vocabulary you can just write it really fast and it improves you and it helps you to save more time on writing other parts like body and conclusions right that's why you I, I, I highly suggest you practicing on your introduction and then you can have some ideas about body as well I hope this video was helpful for you because uh, I think it's uh, real easy to write and I wanted to show you this one and I want to thank uh, one more time because uh, the channel is growing really fast I'm really glad about this and I'm getting uh, lately I'm getting uh, a high number of views that's all thanks for you guys and uh, if you have any questions you can leave in the comments and you can write your introduction I'll check it you can contact me by Instagram or if you ask my number I'll send you just through Instagram my number as well and uh, yeah I, I hope this was helpful for you and it was really simple as you can see that it, at least I tried to show you how you can you can do it uh, with a real a real example and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching as always don't don't forget to subscribe if you if you haven't already it would be really helpful as as we are reaching uh, our five five k number and that's great that would be really awesome imagine like 5000 people are watching me that that's and I'm um, 5000 people and finding this video is helpful and I'm helping him that's that's the most important part of course and uh, yeah have a nice day bye